G'day, Andy from Single Mob. Today uh, I'm going to look at a whiskey called Bal Blair. Um, this is from the Highlands, the Northern Highlands, well up north of Inverness in the Dornoch Firth. Um, it's a, uh, uh, a, a very isolated part of the Highlands, being so far north, um, and they do things a wee bit differently right up there. It was the place in Scotland where they did the last witch burning, and that was only in uh, 1722, so... Relatively recent history. This distillery was established, officially established in 1790. However, there's um, been a history of witchcraft and whiskey making in the uh, Dornoch Firth for a very long time, hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, and I guess as good a place as any to build a distillery. This um, this distillery is uh, it's old, seventeen ninety, the third oldest officially in Scotland, behind Bowmore and Strathila. Um, it's owned by a company called Inverhouse. Inverhouse is um, a small, relatively small company, owning five distilleries, including this one, um, Anknock. Old Pulteney and Speyburn. Um, being relatively small, it's not governed by the strict and str stringent uh, rules that the bigger whiskey companies have to conform to with consistency year after year. It, the whiskey has to be the same of the house style. These guys. Actually, Bell Blair just throw out the rule book and they allow the distiller to have freedom, um, making each vintage from the barley harvest the own, uh, the way that he believes will enhance the whiskey um, to its fullest potential. So each vintage has its own little variations and little idiosyncrasies that make it perhaps a little more interesting than the bigger house distilleries um, that bang out the same thing year after year, irrespective of the natural variations that will occur uh, with um, with the whiskies. So um, um, it's really nicely packaged. It's in a clear glass bottle and they proudly state that this is its natural colour. So it's obviously been aged in bourbon barrels, ex-bourbon barrels, um, distilled in 2000 and bottled in 2011. So 11 years in bottle, I guess, doing the maths, um, and 43%. Um, so let's have a wee looky at it. Oh, it's got a very big lid. So that's a... Bastard to get off, actually. That's interesting. I actually use heat seal most distilleries. Use a foil, tin foil seal. This one's shrunk plastic, heat shrunk plastic. So there's a bit of something different. Lovely big cork, though. Oh, pops just the same. Ooh. Straight away you get raw spirit. Um, it's actually like standing in the distillery. It's um, it's like the uh, the fruitiness of the the raw spirit before it goes into oak. Yeah, uh, mm, yeah. Actually, I mean, there's going to be vanilla in it because it's aged in American oak. But you get a lot of these tropical fruits that you tend to get from the raw spirit. Things like banana. Uh, lychee. I'm getting some sort of cinnamony spice as well. Yeah, but it is, it's like a, a really clean raw spirit, which has obviously been aged in 
Oak for 11 years, but Oak does two things. It um, takes out unpleasant flavours, but it also adds its own individual flavour to the whiskey. Because I'm getting a lot of that raw spirit nose coming off, this has not given a lot, the, sorry, the oak, the yeah, barrels, have not given a lot of flavour to the whiskey. Your, what you're smelling when you take away that vanilla is really um, the, the spirit in its truest form. Yeah. Oh, it's, wow, it's delightful. Very different. Mmm. Don't expect, in fact, don't expect to have tasted a whiskey like this before. It's incredibly clean. You get, wow, all sorts of wonderful flavors bouncing around there, but it's not dominated by oak character it's dominated by the spirit by the by the barley and I don't mean it's multi and overpower um, it's not a barley sugar flavor it's a um, ah, it's really spicy cinnamon nutmeg but there's also tropical fruit in there as well ah, it's a it's a really different whiskey beautiful whiskey and it's great to see that the distillers actually let the spirit speak for itself. It didn't feel that it needed to be overpowered by by a rich sherry or a or a, a heavy bourbon character. He just let the the beautiful barley do the talking, which I guess is why they bottle it each vintage. Hmm. Yeah, look, if, you, if you're into whiskies and you want to try something different, delightfully different, make sure you get this. It's great.